going to make a really quick video to show you how to accept changes um, and basically how to make corrections that your professors have asked of you in Google Classroom using Google Docs suggestions. So there are a few different kinds, really mostly two different kinds of suggestions that can be made. Um, one of them is like this, that just has something for you to do. So you can, you don't need to reply, but you just need to do it. Um, so let's change this to an exegetical paper. Um, and that got rid of it. Um, if you had just typed it here, then you could say, okay, I've done it and resolve it and then delete the part that, you know, make the change essentially. Then there are the kinds that are suggestions. So those are going to look like this. If you look here, you'll see it's a word in bold and a colon and then something in quotation marks. What that means is the text needs to change. So you could do that. You could come in here and you could add a period or you can just click the check mark and it will do that for it. So we see another thing here. So what your professor has done here has added cultural context just offset by commas here. So again, if you want, you can type cultural context over this or click the check mark and it's going to add it. I'm going to recommend clicking the check mark unless your professor says otherwise. They are making the corrections on their paper that they would want to see. So probably just accept them. Um, some of these are going to look a little um, strange. So I didn't do a delete paragraph one, but again, if we just click the check mark, it's going to fix it. But here, um, if we reject it, you're going to get to see this is what it looked like before. So I'm going to undo that rejection. And instead, if I click the check mark, it makes the change. Now, this one might seem really scary, right? It says delete link with URL. What your professor is asking here is not that you delete the whole URL. They are asking that you delete just the hyperlink. So um, I'm going to reject this so you can see what it looked like before. And the hyperlink is the thing that makes you click on it and it goes to the website. So again, I'm going to undo. And when I accept the suggestion, what happens is it just, it makes it not blue anymore. So here I just had an extra space there. And if I, um, so if I reject the suggestion, you can see this is what it looked like before. But instead, let's just accept the suggestion. This one had the wrong indentation. Um, so this is just saying, I want you to change the formatting. You may not know what this means, right? So instead of trying to puzzle it out, click the check mark and then again here we can see another what looks like a scary like oh do I need to delete the whole thing no just click the check mark and delete the URL so not delete the URL delete the hyperlink and leave the URL there so I hope that helps um, if you have any questions about it let me know and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day happy researching